all right y'all so we got some really really weird development going on here usually we see this from the men's side of the sport not too often from the women's side of the sport we have a ufc bantamweight contender by the name of myra bueno silva she just came off of a big victory versus holly Holm. now currently sitting rank number three in the women's bantamweight division um, in a great spot because as you guys know Amanda Nunes just retired so there's no legitimate title fight yet that has been made so you know with that big victory finish victory over Holly Holm that Meyer Buena Silva got she put her name in the contention for a title shot and now we have this new development going on so Myra made a post on her Instagram saying and I quote and I want you guys to listen very carefully to this this, this, this is going to be great and I'm actually reading this for the first time, so we're all going to get to hear this. I'm like, what the hell is going on? To all my fans, it is with deep regret that I have to announce I failed a drug test that I took the week of my fight against Holly Holm. Oh, hell no. I want to begin by saying I never in my life taken a substance to enhance my ability in or outside the cage. I've tested positive for a substance that is consistent with the prescription medication I take for my ADHD. I have been dealing with this disorder my entire life, and it affects me in a multitude of ways. Oh, I have provided a plethora of documents and explanations to USADA and the Nevada State Commission detailing the disorder, the effects of the disorder on my daily life and my decision making in the ingestion of the prescription medicine. I am fully cooperating with USADA, the Nevada State Athletic Commission, and the UFC to make sure that all information is available, and I fully acknowledge the presence of the substance in my system. Them. I discontinued this medication at the beginning of fight week, like I always have in the past. So while it appeared in a small amount in my system, I am told by experts that it would not have an effect on my in-competition performance at that level. Please, before you make any judgments, understand that I have been dealing with this my whole life. And I am devastated that this has happened in my career. I look forward to coming to a resolution and putting this behind me. I look forward to fighting again for the best organization in the world. I am the next champion and I am ready to fight. What the hell was that? Pump the brakes there. I don't know if you're gonna be ready to fight because you might have to deal with that USADA suspension that may be coming for you. So it's just funny to me how these fighters do this sometimes. Like, come on, man. You guys are like, you have a job here. You're a professional fighter. How in the world could you have possibly not known what you were taking? Like, if you have this ADHD thing going on and you've been taking the prescriptions your entire career, what is the difference now versus all the other times? That's the biggest, biggest question because I don't like to be the person that likes to jump to conclusions, but I like to be the person that has, you know, common sense. And in this situation, if this is something she's dealt with her entire career, how is it that this one time there's a random slip up when this is something that she's already been dealing with, or, you know, and are, you know, already been doing? It's just very, very weird. And it's funny because I seen, it probably was an older interview the other day, like on a YouTube short, from Michael Bisp, you know, from Michael Bisping, and he's basically saying like, all these guys are on drugs. Everybody's on steroids. And it's crazy how this keeps happening. This keeps being a constant thing. I mean, I don't know how many more UFC fighters need to see someone else be made an example out of like your professional fighter. So you need to do a better job of watching what you put inside your system because there's other people that have never failed a, this test at all and they probably had things to do with too so very very weird thing you know very you know a very very weird development going on with Myra Buena Silva she's probably going to face a suspension i mean shoot Sean O'Malley faces suspension and a lot of people don't even talk about that anymore, especially since his most recent fight against Aljo. You know, he's a bigger, he's a big superstar now, was already a star. No one, no one's not going to really care about it. Um, so, you know, because Meyer Buena Silva is going to be someone that most people don't know, the casual MMA fan doesn't know, they'll be quicker to jump on her and say, hey, you're a cheat, you took drugs. So that's just the unfortunate reality of what's going on with Myra Brennan Silva right now. But I need you guys to let me know down below in the comment section um, what you guys think about this. I'm actually going to make a community post, and I want you guys to go vote on the community post. Do you guys think that 
um, Meyer, Boyne, and Silva knowingly took a performance enhancing drug of some sort, or is this some big mistake or whatever? Um, yeah, make sure you guys go vote on that post and um, be sure to drop a like on this video, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So the next time I upload, you guys will get notified, man. It's your boy, Jared Bless, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.